Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we are going to be making a delicious classic cocktail known as the Bee's Knees. We're gonna talk about the cocktail family this drink lives inside of, then we're gonna make the Bee's Knees and stay tuned to the very end because we're gonna do a simple twist on this drink using that cocktail family formula. Hi everyone, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and creative cocktails. Now the Bee's Knees is one of these classic cocktails that lives inside of the most popular cocktail family that we know of, known as the Sour. Now the hallmark of a Sour is typically gonna be using a formula of two parts of base spirit, one part of sweet, and one part of sour. Think of it as an adult lemonade where we're using alcohol in place of water. Now, there are some of the most popular cocktails in the world inside of the sour family. The daiquiri, the gimlet, and even arguably the margarita can be placed inside of the sour family. It is extremely flexible to create new versions of this drink using that template. And we're gonna show you that a little bit later. But for now, let's go ahead and make the classic bee's knees. To make our bee's knees, we're gonna go ahead and put everything inside of our cheater tin, starting with our base spirit. Now, if you remember the formula for a sour, it's two part base spirit, it's one part sweet, one part sour. So two parts of our base spirit, gin in this case, right into the cheater tin. Next, we have one part sweet. For a sweet, we're gonna be using honey. So just a nice honey syrup, and it's gonna add some nice aromatics to this cocktail. And finally, our acid, which is gonna be lemon juice. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some ice, chill this thing down, and then strain it into our glassware. And for the garnish, we're just gonna do a simple lemon twist. There we have it, the bee's knees. And now it is time for us to go ahead and taste our bee's knees. Cheers, everybody. I love this cocktail so much. Every time I try it, I'm just always amazed at how much flavor it has. So there's a lot of flavor with really, really simple ingredients. You get the aromatic elements from the honey, a little bit of weight as well. The gin comes shining through as a botanical kind of just notes to it. And then you get the sharpness of the lemon. This is a super fun cocktail. Now that we've made the bee's knees, we're gonna go ahead and do a really fun kind of spin or riff on that particular cocktail. Now to do that, we're gonna go ahead and look all the way back to our cocktail family and use that formulation as our starting point. So just as a refresher, it's two part base spirits, one part sweet, one part sour. So in this particular cocktail, we're gonna be using a product called Ricea, but we're gonna apply a really interesting technique to this, something known as split basing. So we're gonna remove a portion of our Ricea and we're gonna replace that portion with yellow chartreuse. Now yellow chartreuse does have some sweetness to it. So we're gonna to need to balance this cocktail out by removing some of the honey. Now this is when mixology really starts to become fun and a little bit more challenging. It's when you have to start balancing these ingredients to your taste. So now let's go ahead and make that cocktail. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and build everything straight into our shaker tin here. And we're gonna go ahead and do our ricea right in there. Next, we're gonna do our yellow chartreuse. Once again, our acid. And finally, our sweetener, the honey syrup. So once again, we're just gonna go ahead and add some ice and shake this thing up. Once again, we're gonna use the same exact garnish, a simple lemon twist.
And there we have it, our fun take on the bee's knees. Cheers. And now let's go ahead and taste this version of the bee's knees. Cheers. Man, that is so good. So this one has a lot of smoke. It has a little bit of weight and meatiness to it. It's still quintessentially is a bee's knees, but with a lot more flavor kind of like bouncing all around. This is a really, really delicious cocktail. Now, as we compare it to our original bee's knees here, this one is also very good. This one is much more focused on the aromatic qualities of it. So you get that honey and it gets reinforced by the gin and then you get the sharp acidity. This one here just has much more flavor, a much bigger mouthfeel. Um, and it's just got all those different interesting characteristics that just aren't here in this one. Now, this is where mixology is really exciting, where you get to play along and really have some fun with the ingredients to tailor to your taste. So there we have it. We have made the bee's knees, and we've also talked about one of the most flexible cocktail families known as the sours. Now we've used that flexibility and really demonstrated in this cocktail by using it with some really intense ingredients. And you know what? It's still really delicious. Now, if you wanna learn more cocktail techniques to really elevate your cocktail game, head on over to shop.abarabove.com where you can find some of the courses that we offer as well as all the bar gear that we use throughout this entire video. So you know exactly what we're gonna ask you to do. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you'll get notified anytime we release cocktail videos similar to this one. Until then, I hope you are enjoying your favorite version of the Bee's Knees. Cheers.